Hey guys, it's sorry. Hey guys, it's Jason here, bringing you a Minecraft video, and I really haven't done one of these in a while. So yeah. Oh no, wrong one. Um, yeah, I really haven't done one of these in a while. So I'm sorry if my commentary s skills, I guess, are a little bad, rusty, whatever. So yeah. Um, as you can see, I just load up my test tool here, and I'm gonna bring uh, give you guys a demonstration of this. So. If you guys didn't see my previous video about the teaser for the, um, what's it called? My item dispenser. Well, so before it was only two rails. Now it has four, four rails that are fully functioning. Um, the redstone kind of got really confusing. So let me just kind of explain this to you guys first. Um, I'm using a whole bunch of mods right now, but no item mods, so yeah. So I tried to use colored wool to um, mark off what, um, I don't know, what path represents what. So basically the green is any input. So for example, since I have a coin system, um, the green is the input for the coin. So as you can see, all of these are inputs from switches and stuff. Uh, continued inputs and whatever. <clears throat> wow, I got hurt. Um, sorry. Purple is for supplementary power, or power that's not um, originally was intended on being there. So for example, all these powered rails, I didn't intend on them being there, so I put them on purple rails. As well as torch power is also provided by, or just signaled by purple blocks, so I know what's happening basically. And pink is for each of my four gates. Um, yeah, that was, no, whatever. Um, pink is for each of my gates. I have four AND gates working right now, and I do not plan on adding any more because there's already like a 20 second delay so between the cart coming and the gate activating, so I just prefer to not actually do that. So yeah, basically this is how, <coughs> this is my cart system. Oh, I, I also apologize for my voice, I'm kind of sick, but whatever. Um, so I have my lever system here so this is the diamond set which is why it's its own standalone and it's not because the wiring got really messed up it's it's for standalone purpose um so this is a lever you pull for mixed food pull for bacon and pull for more food and it's all different so basically how this works is you pull pull the lever of your choice for example so you pull for diamond and you put your coin in and you press the button um, and this is where the items will drop down from, and you can take what you need, and you can press the button to return the cart. So this is another feature that I added, um, <coughs> sorry, it's the coin refund. So basically, if none of these levers are pushed, and you have your coin in the machine, and if you press the button, and the cart's going to go, and then since it can detect that none of the rails are powered and you will get your coin, your coin, air quotes, back. So let's just demonstrate this. So for example, if I wanted the, uh, for a diamond set, you push the button and all you have to do is wait. And here's the diamond set. Oh, by the way, the mod on the side is called Too Many Items, but I'm not going to explain that right now. And when you're done with it, you just hit the switch, and the cart will return back. So basically, the cart's going all the way underground, and it's coming up the back, and it resets to its position here. So I guess I'll demonstrate all the other rails to you guys. Um, why not, right? Let me just check to make sure there's no problems, because these things always bug up. Okay, there's no problem, so let's get back to this. So, I already showed you, so, three more. So to prove that each of these rails works individually, um, so this is another mixed food one. So put the coin in, make sure the lever's switched, and wait till you hear like the fire, and cart comes down. So there's food, and you press the button, <coughs> and see the how the cart came from there. So the cart goes back down the path and returns to its position. Uh, oh, frick. Okay, I didn't mean to do that one, so let me just get a, another cart. 
So yeah. Um, one problem with this design is that it's not uniform, as you can clearly tell. And what the f? Uh oh, crap! The card's stuck. Go. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, if the cart doesn't go all the way, it'll just infinitely loop, so yeah. So, a few problems with this design right now are, um, first of all, that I'm pretty sure there's no other way I can add any more switches because the redstone's already completely effed up as it is, and yeah. Another problem is that this one comes relatively fast, but as you'll see for these two switches, so I'll do the bacon one now, and put the bacon in and you press the button and everything should work. Another thing is that there's no way of detecting when the card's back and if you pull a switch, if you insert another coin too early, you'll just essentially mess up the whole system. Mm -hmm.